Now that you're familiar with the quick access buttons, let's use the touch screen and dive further into the unit. First, let's select electrotherapy found at the top of the main screen. Simply hit the icon and it'll take you to the main page of the electrotherapy section. Here you'll see the manual operations, where you can choose from all of your current waveforms, your favorite section, and where you can save different favorite protocols for various patients or therapists in the clinic, as well as your clinical protocols section that houses all of the protocols found on the device. Here you can get waveform descriptions, as well as an anatomic model of electrode placement. Let's jump into the manual operations screen first. Now here's where you'll find all of the different current waveforms from symmetrical and asymmetrical biphasic to symmetrical and asymmetrical RAS, which stands for Rapid Agonist and Antagonist Sequencing, an upgraded waveform over some of the familiar ones like TENS and VMS. You also have high volts, NMS, which stands for neuromuscular stimulation, as well as microcurrent, pre-mod, inferential, and Russian stim. You can simply select the back button to jump into the main electrotherapy screen here. You'll also see the intelligent keys next to each one of the clinical protocols. When you hit this key, you'll find the waveform rationale. You can toggle forward to find a waveform description, and finally toggle forward again to find an anatomical guide for electrode placement. You can select back to get out of the intelligence key and select a therapy to get started. You'll see that you get a channel selection as well. You can use channel 1 or 2 if you're using just two electrodes, or use channel 1 and 2 together if you're using four electrodes. You can do the same thing for channels 3 and 4, and then 3 and 4 together. For demonstration purposes, we'll use channel 1 and 2. Once you're on the main start screen, you'll see all of your different settings and parameters. You can easily select any of those until they're highlighted, and then toggle back and forth to adjust the settings. You can also adjust the carrier frequency all the way up to 10,000 Hz. You can adjust the timer by simply selecting the timer icon. Or channel 1 or channel 2 to turn up the milliamperage. 